Ms. Nina, I know, you know, there's nights like this happen. But is there anything you can pinpoint or about your offense tonight that, that maybe, you know, was it just their pitching or just an off night? Yeah, I think it was their pitching. I thought um, Suarez did a really good job of mixing, using all of his pitches, kind of, you know, he, he located his fastball really well. The changeup was really good. I mean, he did a great job. Um, you know, I think that's going to happen, and, and I think it was more their pitching than our hitting. Third round on the left. Seemed like a big moment was the uh, the two strikeouts by Sir Anthony Dominguez at you know, the top of your lineup. Can you address, you know, sort of what that moment was like for you and how you think it Well, I mean, we had a few. Game? I thought, you know, there was, I think, like three times in the game I felt like we had a chance to, to you know, pierce a gap and, and – um, get something going. I mean, th those were big outs. Obviously, there's a, a bunch of big outs. Um, you know, the one probably none bigger than Ozzy's that Turner dove and, and turned the double play. I mean, he hit that ball really well. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's just uh, it's one of them things that happens sometimes. I mean, the pitching shut us down. Come here to the front. Alluded to their pitching, their bullpen, it seems like it's so much better than it used to be. They have all these hard throwers. Is that how much of an obstacle or that is that bullpen? Yeah, no, I think they've done it. They did a great job of addressing their bullpen issues from last year. And, and they got multiple weapons that they can go to. On the left. Just uh, moving forward, they you know were very active on the base pass. How can you guys contain them and yeah, really well, we're going to have to do a better job. Than we did, that's for sure. I mean, we knew that coming in that they're aggressive. They, they you know, it's just one of those things. It's it's I thought you know Murph made a couple of really good throws, to, but um, overall, I mean, it's just they're very opportunistic and and with the. You know, they got a lot of guys with a lot of success in stealing bases too. So we're just, you know, we have to do a better job holding the ball and and things like that. In the front, I know it's just one win, but it's 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 one one win for them on your home field in a short series. So how daunting? No, I mean we stuff? just, you know what, we got to regroup and come back and and you know win Monday right now, really. And we got a really good pitcher that I feel really good about on the mound, and and um, you know we can't. I don't think dwell on that. I mean, and that the, you know, we just got to look forward to the next game. And then one more thing, Evelyn, again, you to ask. I, I know your explanation before the game on the lineup change or the the batting order change. Do you feel in retrospect guys were less comfortable at all? No, batting? no. I think when you get in the batter's box, they don't know where they're hitting. No, I don't. I mean, it. it you know what? You get in there, and it doesn't matter. No. On the left, uh, Brian. The, uh, the Phillies obviously are going to have their two, you know, their two aces coming up. Can you just address the prospect of facing uh, Wheeler and Nola? Well, it's tough. Those are tough rides, I'll tell you that. I mean, they're two of the two really, really, you know, two of the game's best. I think, you know, competitors, stuff, the whole thing. Um, it's not an easy task, but you know what? We've been through it before. In the front. Um, Snay, I don't know if there really was any explanation, but the catcher's interference, it, what did you see? Well, I, I, all I had was the big board. Um, you, know, I, you know, I looked and Murph didn't say anything, and, and I, I don't know that a hitter reacts like that. They're, they're, things happen too quick for a guy to react like that if it didn't happen, you know, and, and, um, but I couldn't tell off the, you know, off the video there. On the right. Snit was we also uh, Strider yelling at Cranny there. What was was he saying that he wanted to stay in the game? No, or? he told me he wanted to stay. In the, he every does every time I I go through it. How many starts did he make this year? Every time he came out of the game, most of the time he's yelling at me that he wants to stay. Um, I knew you know he said I'm good, I'm good, and but you know what he did his job. He did a great job, um, <clears throat> and there, there wasn't any reason to, to continue to push him. And you know what? The adrenaline gets going. These guys are competitors. I, I wouldn't expect him just to come in and in the game like that and want to come out of the game, you know. But I just I told him, you did your job. And and um, you know, if I somebody said that, they're asking, why well, it's just kind of you know, I didn't spur of the moment thing. And he's coming off there with a lot of adrenaline going on, and it's hard to contain that some sometimes, which is awesome. That's what going makes this kid great. Question in the front. 
The pitch that Bryce Harper hit, it didn't look like it was a bad pitch. What what can you say about this this guy and what he does in big moments? Well, he, he is. He's a big time, time player, the Hall of Famer. I mean, it, it doesn't surprise me when he does great stuff. I mean, you got to really make pitches on him. Things are like that are going to happen. Um, you know, we didn't score, so it didn't you know didn't really matter. But I mean, he's definitely a guy that you're aware of when he's where he's coming around and where he's at in the, the batting order because he's proven that you know he loves this stage. Here Sorry to, to go back to the catcher's interference, but the fans' reaction of throwing stuff on the field. Yeah, no, I mean we're out there. I mean that that's no excuse for that. I, I've been on that field when that's happened, and it's scary because those things, those water bottles, when they come, they're like grenades. And it could really seriously injure, a, you know, one of our players. I mean, that, that's just that's uncalled for. Any more questions? Thanks, Nick. Thanks. <laughs>